The fourth step of our precision hunting rifle build will be working on the muzzle end of this rifle. First I will begin by, like always, centering it up in the machine off the bore. Then I will be cleaning up the face of this and actually cutting a proper crown. Then we'll be threading this, and in this particular instance our customer is going to be using a Thunder Beast uh, suppressor adapter and muzzle brake combo. Now these are really handy, you can obviously use it as a muzzle brake, and then if you have a suppressor it just simply threads on uh, real quick. You can do that in the field, take it on and off as you wish. All right, I've got the barreled action installed in the lathe, and in the process of centering it up, off the bore. So, let's go to the high spot. Very important to center this as best as possible, especially with a muzzle device and a suppressor. Certainly don't want any baffle strikes or anything, so this just ensures that the threads that we're gonna be cutting and everything, all the features we're cutting is gonna be concentric with the bore meaning the bullet won't have any chance of, of hitting it on its way out. Obviously, you wouldn't want that. And so as the jaws get tighter, the needle should be moving less and less. And it's really not important that I have it on zero, if, just to point this out. All I'm doing is making sure there's no run out or deflection going on, so the needle could really be anywhere virtually on the dial. And a couple more adjustments and we'll be centered up and ready to go. Okay, so we're ready to make some cuts. Uh, the first step, I'm gonna be cutting what's called a flat crown on this. Um, since it's going under a muzzle device, um, I, I feel like a flat crown's perfectly fine. Uh, there will be a 60 degree chamfer right there where the bullet exits the muzzle. After that, I'll be turning the diameter for the, the major diameter for the threads. In this case, it's gonna be 5 8 24. Cutting the threads uh, and then indexing the, indexing the brakes so that the top is on top in line with the center or the top dead center of the entire rifle. Okay, now that we've got the threads cut and indexed properly, we can remove it from the machine and take it over to the vise to clean it up and get that thing aligned perfectly, torqued on, etc. All right, here we are at Lyman Gun Company's 25 yard indoor range. We're gonna do a test fire on this just to make sure the chamber looks good. Um, just got the stock trigger on, and in this case, we don't have the stock yet, so we're just gonna shoot it like this. So here we go. All right, so it extracted real nice. The case wall looks perfect. There's no scratches or, or dents or mars or anything on that. Primer looks good. There's no pressure signs. So yeah, looks like this chamber's great. Now that we've performed a test fire and know that the chamber's good, let's just go ahead and review what we've done with this precision hunting rifle. So the first phase was accurizing the receiver or blueprinting. We've bored out the raceway to accommodate the sleeves on the bolt, full accurized job on the bolt, 
The barrel has been fit and chambered to a six and a half millimeter PRC. Got an oversized recoil lug. We've installed the Thunder Beast suppressor adapter, 30 cal. And our customer for this rig is going to be using a Thunder Beast Ultra 9 suppressor. And the really nice thing about this is if you choose so, you can have a muzzle brake here or a suppressor. And the suppressor just easily screws onto the muzzle brake. And then you've got a fully suppressed rifle. Okay, so we're ready for the next phases, which will be stock installation, a uh, good bedding job, mounting of a scope, and some further testing uh, and accuracy checks.